Hello grocery haul enthusiasts. I just got back from Wegmans, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and the Korean market. So four different places, so it's a little bit excessive even for me. But let me get this unpacked and I'll show you what I got. So this is everything that I got at Wegmans and I got some reduced sugar almond breeze. I haven't tried the reduced sugar one yet, so I thought I'd give it a try. I got some frozen bagels, onion flavor for my husband. I got some Tofuti sour cream. Um, this is a non-dairy brand of sour cream and I will be doing a review on that. I got some Earth Balance. I like to get a couple extra boxes this time of year so that when holiday baking comes around I'm not totally busting my budget. Um, things like chocolate chips and sugar and flour, they tend to go on sale on holidays, but I've never seen Earth Balance on sale. So I just buy it and put it in the freezer so that um, when it comes time to make Christmas cookies I have a whole bunch without having to buy a ton of uh, Earth Balance because it's not, it's not the cheapest. And then I got some chicken leg quarters and I will be taking the uh, skin off these and breaking them into legs and thighs and freezing them for later on in the week. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts. These are really convenient. They're already in freezer ready packaging. Got some whole wheat bread and some potatoes, bananas, a couple sweet potatoes for sweet potato fries, some mushrooms, radishes for salads and stuff. And then I got um, some sardines. I got hot sauce for my husband, <laughs> spring water for my daughter, and mustard for myself. And I got Count Chocula. I couldn't resist. It's that time of year. So that is Wegmans. Let me put this away and I'll show you what's next. This is what I got from the Korean market. A whole bunch of produce. I got some beets and I was thinking about making kvass, but I think I'm probably going to chicken out and just roast them, but I can always use these as a side dish. I got some red leaf lettuce, cilantro, some gala apples, some really beautiful eggplant. I'm going to make some baba ganoush. I got some tomatillos for tomatillo soup. I got carrots and celery. I get those pretty much every week just for snacking on. I got a cucumber for salads and I got lentils. Just a handful of things from Trader Joe's. I got the whole wheat English muffins. Uh, these are really great because the whole wheat, like Thomas's English muffins, have dairy in them. But these are dairy free and they're really good. I got some um, pumpernickel pretzel sticks. These are really good and they go really good with beer. And I got some dark chocolate with almonds. This is also dairy free. I mean it's not like advertised as dairy free. It's not like a dairy free brand. It's just Trader Joe's brand but it does not contain dairy. And they're really good as well. Got some creamy uh, unsalted peanut butter and some cottage cheese and cream cheese for my husband. I also went to Whole Foods and I was specifically looking for these new Earth Balance products. I got the vegan aged white cheddar flavored puffs. I got two boxes of mac and cheese mix and I'm really excited to try these. I haven't found a dairy free or a vegan boxed mac and cheese mix until now. so. I got white cheddar and regular cheddar and then I got this just to see what it was like but this is vegan cheese sauce in a tube so I'm very curious about this I'm a little bit scared but I'll let you know how it goes and I will be doing reviews on all of the dairy free products so if you're interested in those uh, in the coming weeks so those are all my groceries I paid around $82 for the week so not too bad and uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up the video, and leave me a comment. Your support is greatly appreciated, and thank you so much for watching.